everybody, it's Chris Bangosh. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, oh, this has been a, a long time coming. We've been setting this up for a while. Um, but yeah, as you can see from the title, um, today I will be interviewing Nolan North. Uh, I'm very, very excited. Um, I've been a massive fan of his for a long time. And to be able to sit down with him and have a talk via Zoom, don't worry. Um, it's it's amazing and I'm so happy that this worked out and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out. So please enjoy and I'll see you at the end of the video. Hi there. Hi. How's everything? Everything's good, thank you. Oh, it's been you, crazy few are weeks. Getting, are you getting through okay with this with this crazy pandemic that we're in? Um, it's been crazy. Um I've been doing a lot of studying online now. Um that's I think the most crazy part of it all. It's been a bit strange to do a photography course online. It's a bit strange, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I, so um, my oldest son, who's uh, an actor, you know, he, he he's finally going to start school here, out here in L.A. He said, I just want to go back and take classes. Yeah. And just have some, some part of a normal life while I continue to audition. But um, all that stuff looks like it's going to be, uh, you know, online. Uh, yeah. The high school stuff is all online. Oh, my wife just brought me a little a nice glass of white wine today. I don't know what color it's going to be. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think, first of all, I mean, how have you been doing during these past few weeks? I know it's been crazy time these past few months. Um, but, yeah, how have you you and your family been? You know, um, we're extremely fortunate. Um, you know, we, we bought a house a few years back that we, we love, and it's got it's a good amount of land, and it's a good spot. You know, um, you know, both our kids were are here. Um, you know, uh, it, it dealing with their, you know, one who's going to be—he's a junior in high school right now. Um, which I don't know, Australia, what that would be. Um, uh, uh, like the year, but he's, he's the year before you go to university. Oh yeah, so here that's year twelve. Yeah, so yeah. he's year. Well, year twelve is the year before you go to university, right? Yeah. So he's year eleven. He's oh, okay. Year eleven. And then in the fall, he's supposed to start year 12. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so, uh, you know, dealing with them and having them here, but, you know, aside from, I, I, I don't want to, you know, downplay all the, you know, the tragedy that's going on out there, but um, this has been kind of nice to sit with the family and, and kind of uh, spend time with just the family. And, and, you know, on a selfish note, it's nice. And, uh I don't know. You know, I, I miss traveling. I miss doing that stuff. But sometimes it gets hectic. So, it, it, but we're not. You know, it's not not like you're losing ground. Everybody is is in the same place. So it's yeah. nice to just be able to, uh, you know, take stock of what's important, get perspective, I guess. Um, but no, we've been doing well. So everybody's <laughs> fine. Thank you. How oh, that's you? good. Everybody good there? Yes, we're good. Um, I think the only sad thing is um my sister only moved out a few months ago so i think that's the one thing that's a bit sad um just not being able to see her that's a little bit like hard how is she is she far away um she lives about an hour and a half away um she lives more closer to the city we live more in the suburb areas of melbourne um so it's been a bit difficult just especially for my parents i think because they want to go and see her and they kind of want her to come here but it's it's too dangerous as well because my mom also has heart issues, so yeah. she's very high careful. risk. Yeah. Yeah, got to be careful. Yeah, definitely. Since there is a lot of free time at the moment for you, have you been able to do any hobbies that you haven't been able to do before? <laughs> Great question. Um, no, uh, well, not really. Mm. Um, you know, the big thing for me, though, it took a global pandemic for me to clean my garage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was a bit of a, you know, we had the about a year and a half before we had the Wolsey fires here. Oh we yes, actually had to move, leave our house for about seven months, and um, you know, on the good good news is, I found a box I, of of N95 masks I, we had gotten because of the fires, and when this thing happened, I was cleaning the garage. I'm like, wow, look at this! And then I, you know, I. I, I do tinker and do a lot of, uh, I used to do a lot of carpentry and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and painting my own stuff. I built cabinets and I found a box of gloves. Uh, we, we found uh, Purell in different jackets and boxes. And like, hey, we found, found stuff we didn't know. Um, 
but there's something nice about getting organized, you know, decluttering and, and cleaning things out. Um, like my younger son is a uh, he's a, a American football kicker, and he's he's being looked at by a lot of colleges. And oh wow! One important thing we wanted to do is he needed his gym because the gym closed down and the schools where they work out aren't there. So half the garage became a proper gym. Uh, and I mean, I had a rowing machine. Uh, yeah. And I never really, I never really, you know, I was just standing in the corner. I'm like, oh, I've got to clean this up and do this. And and I went full on. I mean, I put mirrors on the wall. Oh, wow. All the bars. And so it's a proper, yeah. uh, proper gym. And now I've started to use it a little bit. Oh, that's I'm good. Sore. I'm yeah. Sore, though. I, 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 I need, here's one thing I would tell all young people exercise moderately whatever you like whatever is comfortable but don't stop mm. i used to exercise all the time and then i just kind of stopped and then when i say ah you know i'll just jump right back in yeah it takes it takes a while to jump back in i've been Once you're past 45 <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's really hard yeah i i was going to the gym every day when this thing wasn't happening and when it's when it happened, I stopped. So I also need to get back into it. It's a bit, it's it's bad, but yeah, I need to get back into it definitely. Well, like today, we went out on this golf course, and you can't ride in the carts, you know. And and, and we just carried our bags, and, and all of a sudden you realize, wow, this, this is heavy. Yeah. Normally we don't, and sometimes we'll we'll walk, but you know, the, there'll be a cart. You know, somebody will be driving the cart with the bags, you know, carrying it. Walks nice. Walking those bags up and down my Achilles heel, and I'm like, "Wow, I got to stretch. This is awful." So I'm feeling a little creaky. This is, this is like, I think she crushed up some 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 aspirin. To relieve relieve the aches and pains. Oh, that'll help a lot. Um, yeah. So I wanted to ask: um, the Uncharted movie is being made, and Tom Holland is playing. Nathan Drake, um, if there was a role you wanted to play, perhaps in another game-related movie, what character would you like to play? So, for example, there's the Last of Us TV show that's happening soon, um, perhaps in a Destiny-related project, or even perhaps even in an MCU movie as a small cameo. Um, wow, you know, you know, it's, acting's fun. I always look at it that way. It's always just such a, a joy and so, so much fun to do. So, um, you know, they, they, I've been asked by previous directors, like, hey, I'd like to put you in this. And, you know, I, and, and I said, ah, you know, I just, I don't want to be the guy, you know, like telegram for Mr. Drake and wink and then yeah. walk off. I said, you know, so if there's something that could be good, you know, if there was a, if, you know, Sully and Drake go to a, a, you know, <laughs> a bar and there's a bartender who looks at him and goes, and they're walking back and you find out I'm like their guy when they need weapons or they need information. That could be kind of cool and it'd be something. Or play a bad guy, you know, play one, yeah. of, the, you know, one of the, the devious guys. Um, uh, Last of Us series, I think that's great. Um, if there was any ever any way that, like, David, but they wanted him in, oh, man, I'll grow a beard. <laughs> I'll yeah. that because, you know, that voice is kind of simple. Oh, God. <laughs> I think it'd be real nice to do that, you know. And I, and I but you know, TV's a, a whole different animal. TV and film's a different animal. Um, you know, one thing I can clear up with you. I mean, I saw everybody said said no. I saw a bunch of articles were like Nolan North doesn't think Mark Wahlberg's right. And I'm like, well, I, I didn't. He wouldn't be my first choice. But I went on to say, I'm a big fan of Mark Wahlberg, and I'm actually interested to see, to see how he will bring yeah. Sully to life. Mm. And, the, and the funny thing is, is and I never got to say this because they kind of went off on another tangent, but I'm from uh, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. I grew up in Massachusetts and Rhode Island, New England. Sully, Richard McGonagall, is from Maine, Massachusetts, and, and then Maine is where he lives now, actually. And Mark Wahlberg's from Massachusetts. So ah. I was like, you know, this is the New England connect connection. And Tom Holland's from England. Yeah. So it works. Uh, I think... I think it's great that they're going to try to show Drake in the decade that we as gamers don't know him. Uh, and of course, they're going to take liberties where he might be at Elena and do that kind of thing. That's fine. But I think it's, you know, the fact that they're not trying to get someone who looks like Nathan Drake to do it, and they're going to do something different. I think that's the best chance they'll have to, to 
to break the curse of so many games that don't translate well. Um, but, you know, as far as to answer your question specifically, if there was, man, I'd be happy to do anything in a, in a, in a MCU or anything like that. I just, I just love to show up. That yeah. Was, you know, my original answer was like, it's just so much fun. It's like, yeah. Um, with Star Trek, when J.J. Abrams uh, approached me, he said, he's a huge Uncharted fan, said, hey, do you want to come play? And I'm like, yeah. And I remember I had like five, six lines, and it ended up in one line where it's just literally like, power coming online, sir. <laughs> That's it. And, but I was there for two weeks. Oh, wow. You know, I, you know, well, it takes forever. And they do all kinds of shots. And we have to do, we had to do a shot, and then we had to move things out of the background because then we, we had to do a pass for the 3D version. I've oh, never, wow. I didn't know it. But they built on the Sony lot, they built the Starship. I mean, I, it was like being a kid again. So uh, yeah, I, I'm just always up for for for, for good good uh, good bit of fun. So the fans as well know that you're very close with, for example, Travis Willingham, Laura Bailey, and Troy Baker. But in terms of your on set relationship, what was it like working with them in Avengers? Oh, it's great. Well, you know, it's it, first of all um, the director, writer, and the director, uh, 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 Shauna Sky. He is, uh, he, he was, uh, he was from Naughty Dog. He was at Naughty Dog. Um, so I had worked with him before. Uh, he's, he's amazing. And he's such a, he knows what he wants and he's just, uh, he knows how to get it, but he's, it, he creates a culture on set that just works for everybody. And getting, you know, the people in there, um, like, like, like Travis and, and Laura and Troy and the people that you've worked with before, it just makes it a little easier because over the years you start developing a shorthand with people. Um, and, and to be honest, you know, working, with the, you know, working with them so much, it's like, Oh, you know what to expect. It's the new people. It's the other people, you know, that, you know, uh, Jeff shines, Captain America. I'd never worked with him. And, you know, and he's like, yeah, I know, I know all but Uncharted. I was a big fan. I'm like, Oh, it's great. You know, and, you know, getting to work with, with those people, uh, the new people get, you know, it's, it's, you know, people see the final result, but the fun we have while we're making it, um, that's what I, I look forward to most. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a blast. Yeah, I, I'm definitely looking forward to that game when it comes out. Oh, it looks it's, amazing. You know, I'll tell you something. It's, 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 I've done, a, as you know, I've done a lot of games. It's probably some of the best gameplay I've ever seen. Uh, it's, it's, it's stunning. Yeah, I did. I did get to try it out at PAX um, when I went last year. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got to try out the Iron Man um, one, so that was really, really impressive. Nice. Yeah, it was. It's nice. very exciting. Actually, you know what? And listen, I love Iron Man. I love being Iron Man. But uh, I can say something so satisfying when you, as Hulk, when you pick up someone and smash them. <laughs> and Black Widow. Yes. Whips and butt. It, it, it was it was pretty cool, uh, uh, and, and Thor with the hammer. Oh, I had a little problem when I when I played it as Iron Man because I I wasn't very adept at the, at the flying. Oh yeah, so I was like, but I'm gonna get good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, leading off of this question, um, what was it like taking on the role of Iron Man? Because obviously, we've had. For example, Robert Downey Jr. play it in the films. Was it very um, nerve wracking to take on such a role? Were you apprehensive about taking it? No, you know, um, I'm a huge uh, Robert Downey Jr. fan uh, of, of everything he's, he's, he does, but you know, especially what he did with Iron Man. Um, he was my favorite uh, Marvel character, probably next to Deadpool, um, who's now part of the MCU. Character. Yes. Uh, uh, but I would say, uh, you know, I, the first thing is like, I'm not going to try to do anything with Robert Downey Jr. Uh, I have to just put my own kind of stamp on it, what I see it as. That being said, there were moments that I think uh, I would never copy what he did, but I would sometimes I would deliver a line with him in mind and maybe just a little bit of his cadence as an homage yeah. because of uh, because I just loved what he did so much and I, I wanted people to be able to see that like oh ooh, yeah that, you know because you I want that connection that, that Iron Man Iron Man has that kind of personality yes uh, that you know Robert Downey Jr. just just nailed 
Um, but, you know, I'm not going to try to do an impression of him, his voice, what he does. But there would be certain things that I'd say. Yes. Kind of with a kind of that kind of cadence. Well, that just sounds fine. You know, uh, I, could, I could hear him in my head on certain lines, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, but it certainly wouldn't, you know, I would never you know, want to mimic him because, uh, you know, I'm, it's just, just be a uh, you know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to go up against that. So uh, hopefully people will enjoy um, my version, you know, and, um, you know, the thing is, it's, the, the, the game is, uh, there's that old saying, the play is the thing. It's not about any one character. And what I love the best about that project is it wasn't about Iron Man. It, it, it was about the group and, uh, you know, how they had to work together. And how sometimes they didn't. So, without giving away too much, it's uh, I'm very, very proud to be part of it. I'm hoping it's going to be a big success. And we'll do many more uh, sequels to it. Just I think like it, the MCU. I think it definitely will be successful. If you had seen the reactions of the replayers when we found out you and Troy and just the amazing cast that's in it, we all freaked out. It was such an amazing moment, and I think yeah, it definitely well, will do I, well. I hope so. I hope so. I think so. I mean, it's. Um, Boy, we could really use it now with this this quarantine and everything. I wish people had that to play, but uh, there's a lot of great games out there. Games yeah, and again, or another... Just go back to the old classics. Go back to the Uncharted. Oh, yes! <laughs> I think another question that I wanted to ask, um, leading off of this one as well in terms of games, um, is there any games that you have been playing at the moment, if you have the time, or are there any games that you are excited for that are coming out perhaps this year or next year? Um... I have not been playing as much as I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I'm working on something, but because, quite frankly, the garage. Um, a lot of the people, I, my clients I work for, the studios, in uh, not as much gaming right now. Uh, some, there's a couple in gaming that have reached out and we've worked with, but um, animation, a lot of the animation I do, uh, there are people reaching out, and I've been working on uh, building, getting the home studio. Oh, yeah. Soundproofed. Uh, literally, it's just, you know, it's so easy to do with uh, the equipment. Once you get the equipment, you get, like, the uh, soundproofing material and just took, a, like, a little bit of a walk-in closet and made it just a place where I can go in there, with the stuff, coffee, everything, and, you know, you just, we do this. A lot of times, it's the directors sitting there like you, and we're doing Zoom, and then Zoom, they can control the screen, and they can, they run the, pro, they run the logic or... Pro Tools or whatever they, whatever program, and I don't have to do anything. <laughs> um, you know, and I just sit there and, uh, you know, it did, it was, I had to, uh, you know, they sent me, when, the early ones, this one company sent me a, a laptop to, to follow, and then they took it right away, and then they called two days after I, I gave it back, and they were like, okay, we need to do it again Friday. I'm like, you guys took, we can send it out <laughs> again. I'm like, ah, forget it. I, I need a laptop again. Um, I, I, I had to get, I had to get so much equipment. I had to, I found out that my desktop, this is the one I'm talking to you on, is a new one. Um, mine was 11 years old. Oh, wow. And, and, and it, it literally could not take any of the new updates. Mm. And, and it, I mean, wow, that's, you know, pretty good, you know, value for my money. But, uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm, and I'm, and I've never been very tech savvy. So I uh, rely on Drew for that. But um, learning. You know, and uh, you know, since we're going to be have to play games uh, from here, yeah, uh, or retro replay, and there, and, you know, we can't get to the couch. Yeah, how to? So, um, right to my right, there's kind of a got a screen, and we've got new setups and lights, and we're going to have to figure this all out. We're, we're literally, over the weekend, we're working on stuff because, you know, uh, you know, Sony makes it great, or and I'm sure Xbox has it, but you know, Sony does PlayShare. So oh yeah, play share, yeah. Together, so hopefully I'm just going to start. Uh, you know, one of the new looks will be uh, you know, for the time being, just getting on with some of my friends and and uh, you know, just hey, join me and just you know, basically uh, talking and uh, having a few laughs. You know, just I just especially during this time, I really want to just you know make you guys uh, make you guys smile, have a, have a good time because oh, wow, things are just crazy hard right now. You know, it's just we don't have to shouldn't have to be that way. 
Yeah, and we appreciate everything you're doing from Retro Replay because, again, in this time, it has been very scary and it can be, I guess, unpredictable. And we've, and this is a message not only from me but from the whole community that, that we really, really appreciate everything you're doing for us at the moment and we hope that you know how much we appreciate you. Well, you know, I, I, I really do appreciate you and, you know, everything's been so uh, crazy as of lately, you know, uh, and uh, really just want to make sure you guys are, know that, you know, nothing's changing, you know, uh, except Troy's not there because he's, he's got these uh, great opportunities, the things that he's really passionate about. And, you know, it's hard. It's going to be hard for everybody, but, you know, we're, we're happy for him. And, um, but, you know, I want everybody to know that I, I don't have any kind of new direction I'm taking anything. We're just... Drew, PJ, and, and I just wanted to, like, okay, we just got to, you know, we got to stay the course and, and keep people laughing and having a good time. And, you know, and, and the great thing of, I, I've always liked about Retro Replay is, you know, we'll just be talking, telling stories, and then we'll get messages from you guys back going, that story really sparked something. It really inspired me. And, and you know, you don't sit down to do that on purpose. And I think that's the great thing. What I love so much is how everybody, how the community now kind of runs the show, so to speak, because we just make the show. The community is the one that says, hey, I mean, when I see somebody, if you're having a bad day and you're a little down, there's going to be dozens and dozens of people that are going to be like, hey, uh, I got your back. Call me. FaceTime. That's amazing. You know, and to, to know that we've affected people and we've made them happy um you know it, it just and and that they make they can they sustain it um that's that means the world i i just think it's great and i'm, I'm super proud of what we've built and i just want to try to do my best hopefully uh we can we, we get some really good ideas coming up i can't give them away but we get some really cool ideas and some things that we're going to try to you know uh bring some new fresh stuff in you know because um I don't know, maybe I'll get stale sitting there alone. Get some people sitting with me and I don't know. It's But, you know, I appreciate everybody sticking around. You know, that's the thing. People, you know, people know that there's, there's no choice here. The internet's a huge place. It is, yeah. You know, it's not like, uh, well, I don't know what to watch now. It's like, watch them both. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so, you know, I've always wanted to, to send the messaging out that you're just going to get more of what you like, but it's in two different places. Definitely. And now... He can do more stuff, and, and we'll do more of this, and it's all great. So uh, I'm sorry so many people are upset. Maybe it really was down with uh, <sighs> <laughs> No, but seriously, we we really appreciate everything you're doing at the moment because we need some cheering up as well. And it doesn't matter if the content gets stale because you make it fun, and, you know, again, it's all about the hang oh, more so, than just the game. Right, right. Yeah, and, and it's it'll be... Um, you know, uh, we, we, we were, when we were talking this through, the one opportunity we're going to have now, uh, and Stephanie, our editor, was the one who suggested it. She said, uh, can I, you know, she's so sweet and she's so smart, and she's, but she's really quiet. She said, well, um, if you don't mind, I, I'd like to see, uh, you know, get some, get some women on the couch. And it was like, it's a great idea. You know, we, we haven't had that opportunity because we've never had a guest on the couch. On the couch, yeah. Um, you know, so now... You know, that's it. We're not replacing anybody. It's like we're just going to rotate people through. And the idea to get some, some, uh, you know, I, you know, we've got a lot of uh, girls that and women that are, you know, gamers, and I think that's that we're going to lean into that too. I get some, you know, we get some great ideas. So, um, uh, you know, it's it's a transition and it's hard, but it'll be okay. And We'll come out on the other end. We'll have something interesting to, to watch and to see. And I just don't want to let anybody down. So. Oh, well, you, you definitely weren't. You best. definitely weren't. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> well. It could be terrible. <laughs> no. It could be terrible. I could ruin everything. No, you shouldn't think that. I'll try not. But I'm telling you, it's my pledge. I'll try not to. Drew might. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> well, if it's okay, I actually have a few fan questions for you from... Sure. A few of your fans. Um, the first one starts from 
Britt O'Neill, and she asks, what Nathan Drake adventure would you like to go on? And also, thank you for the birthday wishes on Cameo. Oh, you're welcome, Britt. Um, this is this is terrible. Um, it's the schlockiest bad answer, but it's something I've always been fascinated with. You can't, it can never be done because it's just too on the nose. Yeah. Atlantis. Oh. It just be, I mean, just like, I, I just like have a fascination. My, my, my older son is a cooper. He has fascination underwater. Like, you know, he even says, we've explored more of outer space than we have of our own ocean. That's very true, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's easier to go to outer space than because you can't get to the bottom. Because yeah. The pressure will kill us. Um, but it's it's fascinating to me. So um, I just think, yeah, you know, it, but of course, you know, you, people like, yeah, Drake goes to the moon and Drake goes to Atlantis. It's like, beat me over there. You've jumped the shark. But <laughs> I think it's cool. I just, I don't know. I mean, I... You know, I mean, that, that'd be, that's the one lost city that I haven't destroyed yet. So. <laughs> well, there's always many opportunities to do that as well. Um, the next question... <laughs> the next question comes from Pagan Plays. Is there any marriage advice you would like to share? Um, marriage advice. Okay, I'm coming up on 21 years. Wow. Um, you know, something everybody gets all about is like, love like, uh, all about that you gotta like each other you gotta really just like each other because there's and you gotta be you gotta decide if you're stayers you know i mean it, it, i think today's society makes it so easy to be like dad just didn't work out getting divorced it's over it's like you know there's something about but you know making that commitment and and, and honoring that commitment and, i mean uh, until it gets to the point where you're like we're not happy and you know whatever but um pagan i would say that the biggest thing is just you know there's you're going to go through a period of lust at the beginning and then you're in love but when you're in like and when you're in like with each other i think that's um that's the uh the key um for longevity because uh when you like someone you have respect for them. and it's your friend like you know you, you, like you you know i i mean your your best friend whoever that is you know you sit there and you go like well we, we would never get divorced you know it's not like that it's not, <laughs> because it's like it's like because we have respect and we'll talk it out well you know well so i would i would say when you make that kind of commitment um, make sure you you're you're in like um uh, respect each other and be in like some good advice. Um, Maybe. Hey, you know what? Or just go for the lust. Stick with the lust. You know what I'm saying? Just oil it up. And let's go. Oil each other up. Run through the garden. I don't know. Get crazy. Under the moonlight. Lust. Why lust. not? <laughs> um, tea Cakes asks, um, do you often struggle with a lack of motivation? For example, your career or hobbies. And how do you recapture that spark? Lack of motivation. Um, I think in, in, in my career, um, there have been times where things start to, it's like Groundhog Day. Uh, it's uh, a video game and it's the same type of shout outs. And, you know, grenade, get down, and that kind of stuff. Um, and animation maybe that way uh you know i've done television shows and um one of my first was was a daytime show so uh port charles uh, uh, uh soap opera and the script from day to day doesn't change very much and it starts to get a bit repetitive um i think i get through those moments by number one just you know like, like there should be like a perspective pill so the second that you start going oh god this is terrible you take that pill and you remember the crappy apartment in new york where the rats would scratch at my walls uh, oh. kept me up at night um you know the fact that you're sitting there uh, you know you're making a living doing what you're doing i i and whatever it is it's just perspective um 
you know, I'm really fortunate to do what I do. And I think in any job, is you know, if, 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 if it's no longer fun and you give it a, you know, give it a try and, and, and you're doing it a while and it starts getting repetitive, redundant, boring, whatever, you know, if you can't recapture that in some way, and I can't, I, 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 I can't figure that out for everyone or anything, but uh, I always said, like, if this ever got to the point where I, I don't want to do this anymore, I'd walk away. And, you know, people are like, what ever happened to? I'm, I'm fine being that guy, you know, because the world's a big place, especially getting to travel, you know, and to see the place, you know, going to Melbourne. I've been in Melbourne a few times, and it's you know, what a beautiful city, and I'm thinking how lucky I was to go there to work and meet so many people, and because that's the coolest thing, is going to the you know, meeting people at the con and they're even going out to the people. What, what restaurants do you recommend? What pubs? Oh, you know, and getting out with the people. Uh, uh, Ireland is such a great place. Uh, anywhere in the UK is my favorite. You know? and, but, you know, we went to uh, getting out there in Ireland, Dublin, which is you know, not going to where all the tourists are. You know, and, and you're going to get a couple of sideways looks. I'm like, how did, did he just stumble in here and get lucky? Or so it's, I think that's, um, yeah, I think it's, it's, you know, there's always, just stay, it's, keep the, keep your perspective, I guess. It's just, you know, this life's hard enough, and, you know, yeah, sometimes you can lose motivation. I don't know about it, but lose motivation. I think I can get feeling like it's redundant, so, but it's not, they're hiring me, so it's, it's, it's on me to, um, motivate myself it's on me to find that perspective you know for them and, and when you see, work with people who are passionate when you work with artists and they're like I wrote this and can't wait to work it today how dare me to walk in there and go oh this again no I gotta I gotta find the way to go sounds great and and because if you're not it's it's false and then it's not gonna be very good so um, I don't know I'm just really really a lot of grad. I'm really grateful for what I have. So, um, yeah, that's it's pretty cool. That was a really great answer. Um, to, I don't know. It, it was seemed, seemed long winded. No, not at all. No, because it just shows again, like how grateful you are for where you are, and that's an amazing thing too. Because there are some people who aren't. When when they get it, they're not really grateful. But to see that, you know, you're appreciating every day that you have in what you're loving and doing every day. That's a oh yeah. The next question comes from Michael. Um, while there is a lot of people that know a lot of your famous quotes or perhaps moments from the games you've played in, for example, Uncharted, um, what is for you the most memorable moment, whether it's a quote, a funny gimmick, or even just a scene that stuck with you? God, Michael, that's a great question. Uh, I, you know what, I've been doing this a long time. And I don't think I can pick one. Um, I would say, you know, my experiences on Uncharted, just the, the, aside from the work, uh, the friends we made, uh, and the, you know, uh, friendships that remain to this day. Um, Graham McTavish is one of, you know, I have so much respect and love for that guy. Uh, he was Lazarevich in two, and Amy Hennig saw how close we had become, and that's why he became Cutter. In Uncharted 3. Um, I, I think it's um, that whole 10 year run was the pinnacle of my career, not just professionally, but you know, friendships and, and you know, becoming a better actor, becoming a, uh, just uh, I became a better man doing that because of the people I worked with. Um, I miss it, I miss those days um, so I can't God, I can't I really can't pick just one it, it, there's so many memories and, but overall I think it's just my it's my friendships it's the friendships that I've been able to build in this this, uh, this industry uh, like the Call of Duty stuff with Steve Bloom and Fred Tattashaw and Tom Kane um, the Assassin's Creed and you know uh, Roger Craig Smith and, and, uh, all the Uncharted anything Uncharted um, down to the to, to people you wouldn't know, like uh, Kevin McMullen, who's the director on Destiny. Um, just just love just talking with him. You know, he's 
it's just it's, it's so interesting. He's such a such a great guy, so intelligent and um, a great collaborator. Um, Charlie Adler directing me in Blaze and the Monster Machines. You know, uh, uh, the, everybody at Nickelodeon. I, I could go on forever because it's the hardest part of my life right now is working from home. I don't like to work from home. I like to get in my car, get my coffee, and go somewhere. Yeah. And see Ryan, the engineer at Nickelodeon, and, and Charlie. Oh, here comes Kevin Michael Richardson. He's recording with me today. You know, getting to see people. Uh, I, I. That's my. That's my social circle, you know. Because when I come home, I'm home. You know, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a big social butterfly where I'm like, I'll meet you at the the, the pub and we'll, hey, we, Thursday we have dinner. Friday we're gonna go over here. It's like, I get in here, lock my doors, sit with my, my family, and my dogs. And, you know, that, that's that's private life. That's home. Um, but in the if anybody needs me to work now, I mean, they don't. <laughs> Well, this is a good question from Adam Prescott. Um, in one episode wow. of Retro Replay, you were wearing your granddad's shirt. Do you have any other keepsakes that you cherish, whether it's more from your granddad, um, a- another loved one, or s- from a special moment in your life? Um, it's funny. Um, I was really close, closer with my grandmother when I was growing up. But my, my, my grandfather... That shirt means a lot to me, and uh, I do have this thing that's a key, on the keychain that was on his keychain. Um, he was he was just a great guy, and he was he would talk to anybody, anybody <laughs> he talked to. Uh, there's a story in our family where he one time he's at the grocery store and he's like, "Hey, and I know you." And he's like, I'm so sorry, he goes, you're you're, you're, you're Tim, Tim Johnson's son. He's like, no, no, my name's Derek Williams. He's like, no, no, you're Tim Johnson's son. I know. I remember when you were little, and the guy just bagging groceries. And he's like, okay, you know, and, you know. He, but he, would, he was a wonderful guy, and he just, uh, just as gregarious as you can, you can imagine. Uh, just so I don't know. I, I it's funny that. You, mention that because nobody's ever asked me that when I think about it yeah I keep his shirt and I have that thing from him and and we were close but he was probably closer with my brother my older brother and my grandmother so my older brother and my grandfather but um, I always admired him I always liked him I always looked up to him and I uh, I don't know it's funny that I realize that I don't have any keepsakes from anybody other than uh, from him that's, that's interesting. Thank you for that question. Um, another question, and this is the final fan question, um, from Janine, a.k.a. J9. Um, I've oh, met... J9! I love Janine, J9. She's amazing. I've met Nolan a few times at conventions, and I'm always struck by his positivity and enthusiasm meeting replays and fans. During a busy day, seeing so many faces, how do you maintain your enthusiasm, good nature, and positivity? You guys paid tickets to come in there. Um, fans come up and uh, they've paid. They, they've, they've taken time out of their life to pay money to go somewhere and then stand in the line. Uh, I, I, my grandma and grandpa that we just talked about crawl out of their grave and just come get me if I was rude to anybody. <laughs> um, I mean, I that's my my job. I'm not going to lie to you. When we're done at the night, you know, you know, after the con, it's funny. There's like you get so up and amped, and everybody's so excited. You want to match that enthusiasm, and, and because that, you know, you have that experience. You, you paid to come to have this experience, and oh, I wouldn't be horrible if I or anybody else was a jerk. And I hear stories, and, I, and it's really disappointing. No, I, I, I just, I was raised right. Let's just say that. I was raised by right, and it's just, you, I mean, I'm working for you at that, that day. You want me to sign this. You want to talk about this. You want a, a voice message or a photo. I'm, I'm there for you. They've flown me there to be as, you know, to, to play that part. Um, 
and, and you, you spend hard-earned money to, 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 to want to talk to me, uh, you got to understand, I was a, just a, just a, I was a just as nobody from, from New England, and, and now people know you. So um, it's, it's interesting. Um, uh, no, I, I, w- I would be, ooh, I, I would have If anybody ever sees me, I'm not sure. You should just call me out on it. That's fine. But uh, no, no, I owe it to you guys. Uh, and and cause I'm there for you. I mean, because I'm literally there for you. So, um, yeah, don't, don't take any shit from celebrities or whatever <laughs> you want to call us. Because uh, I don't see myself that way. That's the funny thing. I, don't, I just don't see myself that way. That, that, that title, that name, that celebrity, whatever, ugh, makes me cringe. Uh, uh, I'm just an actor. That's what I do. I'm an ent- I'm an entertainer, an actor, an entertainer. And um, when, you know, but when I'm home, you hear the dog barking in the back. <laughs> hey, I'm being interviewed. <laughs> so loud. Uh, so so yeah. So when I'm out there, that's that's what I'm there for. And um, like I said, my, my I was raised right. My mom would be like, "You'd be a good boy. We're there for you. So you'd be there for them." Perfect. Well, that's very kind of you as well. <laughs> um, I think the final question for me is, sure. um, what are your hopes for the future of Retro Replay in terms of perhaps expanding the show and it's, um, again, kind of like bringing more guests on, stuff like that? Yeah, you know, um, we, we want to lean into, you know, uh, I know I do, I, between me and EJ Drew, we know a lot of people and we have worked with a lot of people and like we said, it's not about the game, it's about the hang. And I think it'd be funny to, to uh, bring in, say, uh, Steve Bloom, who plays with Call of Duty. Maybe Steve Bloom and Fred Tattashore. I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't know. We don't know exactly what this is going to look like once we're back on the couch. So I think the, the thing about we have to, uh, the thing that we have to do is uh, we, we're in the planning stages. There's going to be some, some new content. Um, I have some other ideas, and we've been kicking around ideas, little things. Like, uh, you know, you guys created Uncle Noah. That was your <laughs> thing. And we just, one day, we were like, we got to put some more stuff up there. You know, we have people paying memberships. We, let's put some new stuff up there, right? You know, because I don't want just, like, thank you for paying for your membership, but let's, you need more. You know, it's like, I, I, you know, and, and it's, believe it or not, it's like so hard to go, like, send everybody a T-shirt. Oh, we can't do that. Because yeah. Oh, the shipping and all these you know, people are like, well, you know, this and this. And here's the, you're like, well, what about a sticker? What about a pin? What, what can we do? And the easiest thing to do is just more content, more things, like different things. And, um, I, you know, the, the sky's the limit right now okay? because we're because we're stuck in quarantine. Um, the next couple months, whatever we're going to be doing, it's going to be more of the same. And then we're going to try to start adding some things in. Definitely going to lean on uh, our, you know a bunch of our celebrity friends and different uh, people. Um, you know, we we got some contest ideas that we want to run with, uh, but it's you know it's, it's it's going to be this big collaborative effort. You know, no no idea is stupid at, at our at our, our at the studio. Um, but it should be cool. You know, uh, mix up guests. But I'm excited. You know, I just I just want to keep crazy train going you know we you guys really are important to us and i i I don't ever want to let you know that you're not i don't ever want to let you know that i don't want to let you down and i want to keep giving you something good pj wants to keep giving good stuff drew is adamant um stephanie we we it's like all hands on deck it's like let's just give them keep giving them good stuff because because that's like the, the, the sustenance that keeps the, the community going. And the community is too strong. The community is too... Uh, you, you want to talk about things like retro rate, replay, uh, especially during these times, what, what kept me motivated? It was you guys. The replays. It's like these people reached out and they did exactly what I hoped they did. They, 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 they did exactly what I hoped they would do. They said, yeah, we love you both. That's cool. Yeah, it sucks. We're sorry, but hey, can't wait to see what you're going to do, Nolan. Can't wait to see what you're going to do, Troy. And that's the way it should be. Because it, 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 everything else doesn't matter. It just doesn't. It's 
about you guys. So um, we do our best, uh, you know, and, and, and it, it's hard because, you know, I have to juggle this and I have other work that I'm doing and I have some offers and I'm writing and there's just crazy stuff going on. But, you know, I, I've been doing like videos and like learning how to, how do I put this up? Okay. <laughs> you know, just so, I mean, you know, I'm, I know I'm not always going to sound good. I'm not going to look good, but I'm like, eh, they'll, they'll, they'll be okay. Well, they won't be too mad at me. They get, and if everybody wants to, you know, bust my chops about it, I'm fine with it. Take some, take some shots at your uncle Molly. That's all good. We're in a good spot, um, and it should be, uh, it should be exciting because it's because it's going to be different, and uh, sometimes different can be good. Change can be good. I totally agree with that. Thank you so much, Nolan, for joining me today and allowing me to interview you. It really was a great Yay, time. I really first. appreciate it. I'm your first interview. I'm so proud. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Well, I'll see you out there on, on the interwebs, uh, out there on the couch. Yes. Or, you know, for quarantine, whatever it's going to be. Um, lots more. Lots more to come. So I look Thank forward you. to it. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care of yourself. Wash your hands. You too. And you too. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> okay, guys. Phew. This... Oh god, this is crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, this is hopefully what um, will become a segment of more episodes of me interviewing more people and oh my gosh. <laughs> my gosh, oh, this interview was the dream of a lifetime. So thank you so much Nolan for joining me for this interview. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much to PJ. He is one of the producers on the Retro Replay show and at Red Bear TVs. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your help these past few weeks trying to set this up. Thank you so much to my manager, aka my one of my best friends, Michael. Thank you so much for helping me through this process as well. You've been a massive, massive help. And to everybody who sent in your questions, thank you so much. Unfortunately, we weren't able to answer all of them, but it, I'm, I'm so happy that this all worked out and that we were able to put this together because this was all for you guys. Um, you know, like this time can be a little bit difficult for everybody. So I wanted to just put something together that hopefully will cheer you up and give you something to listen to or to watch. I hope you guys enjoy it. So please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but to also to keep up to date with all my other reactions and perhaps more interviews in the future. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!